Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. In this video, we are going to see about one of the most asked interview question. So the question is how to write a SQL to delete duplicate records. I am sure every one of you would have faced this question in one or other interview. So in this video, I am going to show you three different ways by which you can write a SQL to delete the duplicate record. From interview point of view, I would suggest you should be very clear in at least one of the method and from working point of view, I would suggest you to understand all the three methods so that these logics will help you at some point of time during your development. Fine. Now let us see how to write a SQL to delete the duplicate record. So before starting with the actual query, let me show you the core logic what we are going to use in all the three queries. Okay, so here is a sample table employee underscore T which consists of some employee informations. So I'm just ordering this employees as per the employee number so that it is very easy for us to identify the duplicate records. So in this case employee number 1002 Raghu is duplicate because you can see there are two rows with exactly the same information for 1002. Similarly for 1004 there are three rows with same information. So these two records are exactly replicated multiple times. So the expectation is we need to write a query to delete one record from employee number 1002 and we need to delete two records in employee number 1004. So the uh, critical thing here is that how to uniquely identify a record to be deleted because when we try to put a var condition based on the data available in the table we will get all the duplicate record so it is difficult to delete except one record so in that case we need any one specific identifier to uniquely identify each record for that what we are going to do is we are going to use the row id pseudo column so I've just selected the row ID pseudo column as part of the employee as part of other columns also here. If you clearly see for 1002 except row ID the rest of the informations will be the same. So only difference is the row ID. Very similarly for uh, 1004 employee also you can see only the row ID differs because the row ID is a physical address that uniquely identify each and every row in the database. So what we are going to do is we are going to use this row ID to delete the duplicate record. Okay, how can I use this row ID to delete it? So the answer is very simple. Out of uh, multiple row ID, we need to retain one row ID and we need to delete rest of the row IDs. How can I uh, retain one, re uh, one row ID? or how can I identify the row ID to be retained. So that is very simple. We can use the aggregate function to identify either the maximum row ID of the group or the minimum row ID of the group. Means you, you just pick any one of the row ID out of this. So you use the max or minimum uh, group function so that you will get either one of the row ID in this group uh, so that anything other than those row IDs you can delete. So first let us just try to get only the row IDs to be retained. So what we can do as part of this we can use the maximum of row ID. So in this case if you see for employee ID 1. So the very key thing is that I have just grouped by all the columns of the table. So that is very important. So now if you see for uh, since the employee ID 1001 is unique we are just getting the uh, row ID as it is. Out of two row IDs of Raghu, since I am using the maximum row ID, I am just getting the row ID ending with D. For Ford, anyway it is a unique record, so it will come as it is ending with C. For James, we have like three record ending with E, I and G. Out of this, we are picking the I because I put to the maximum of row ID. Anyway, the rest of the things are like unique values only, which will come as it is. Now, if you see, we just used the maximum of row ID uh, function just to identify what row ID is to be retained. Once you identify the row ID is to be retained, you can just go and delete rest of the row IDs, whatever that doesn't fall in this result set. 
that's it so on top of this we are just going to write another query to saying that you delete from the table any other row id which is not present in the group okay so this is what is going to be our first method okay now let me show you how to write a query using our first method okay i am selecting all the information so let me select all the columns of employee table also copy so as part of this you use the row id as well now what i'm going to do i'm just going to use maximum of row id so you can use either maximum or minimum because our intention is to just to pick one row id out of that group since i'm using the group function i'm putting group by rest of the columns okay now we would have got the uh, maximum row id rows so anyway we are not interested in uh, fetching the column information so you can remove so these are the row ids to be retained so what we can do in outer query we can put select star from employee where row id in now if you see i just put a row id in that means uh, just a second row id yeah yeah sorry it's not employee employee underscore t yeah where row id in so these are the unique rows when i put row id not in these are the duplicate rows now we have just filtered the duplicate rows instead of select just make it as delete so this will delete all the duplicate rows okay now let me execute the query now if you, you can see three rows deleted now let us select star from employee underscore t table now if you see all the duplicate records that is one in ragu and another in james got deleted so this is the first method in the first method we are using the approach of very simple subquery very very simple in the subquery helps in identifying the unique rows to be retained the outer query helps to delete the duplicate record that doesn't fall in the unique set that's it this is our first method now let's see how to write a query to delete the duplicate in one more way in fact the core logic still remains the same so in this method instead of using a simple subquery i am going to use the correlated subquery so let me first roll back this okay let me take one more session let's say select star from employee underscore t okay so here also the core logic is going to be the same but how we are picking the row id matters in the earlier case we are picking the row id is using a simple subquery but in this case we are going to decide based on the correlated subquery so i am going to use like a two tables in fact the same table so i am just giving alias as a here where row id greater than select minimum of row id from emp underscore t b where a dot employee number equal to b dot employee number and a dot e name equal to b dot e name and a dot job equal to p dot job and a dot salary equal to b dot salary and a dot department number equal to b dot department number yeah now i'm just executing this query if you see here the logic still remains the same so we are just fetching all the minimum of row id and anything that is greater than minimum i'm just fetching from the outer table so this will give us the rows to be deleted so instead of select we'll let us make it delete from so this will delete three records let me select star from employee underscore t now we will get only the uh, unique record here okay so let me just roll back because i just want to show you one more way okay because okay now we have all the duplicate records here so let me copy the same query if at all you want to use the maximum uh, function here you just need to make it as less than okay let me again instead of delete let me show you the select now if you see again it will just fetch us only the records to be deleted so you can say delete from employee three rows will be deleted select star from employee underscore t now all the duplicate records are deleted from the table and it preserves only the unique record let me just roll back it here okay 
So the key thing here is that we are actually using the correlated subquery. To understand more about a correlated subquery, I would suggest you to watch through this video because only then you will be able to actually understand how this deletion is happening using the correlated subquery. So this is our method 2 of implementation. Let me show you one more way. So in this method, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the simple subquery. In fact, I'm going to use the simple subquery, but not going to use the maximum of minimum function. Instead, we are going to use the analytical function. Let me write and show you the query first. So what I'm going to do, um, let me first select from the employee. Fine, let us select all the not employee table, employee underscore T. Let me select all the columns from here. So as part of that, let me select row ID also. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the row name analytical function over partition by rest of all the columns. Okay. Sorry, it's row underscore number. order by let's say roll let me give alias let me give alias as r now if you see okay let me order by employee number also employee number yeah now if you see for ragu and james because these three uh, will form a group because it only these records are actually duplicate if you see here we got a uh, row number like one two within that group so what we need is what we need to uh, preserve is whatever is with one or the unique records to be preserved anything that is not equal to one has to be deleted that means two two and three so these records are the potential records to be deleted so we can use in the outer query just to filter out so what i can do row id let me select row id comma r from where r greater than one yeah now uh, we got only the row ids uh, to be deleted so now i let me remove this r also because i just need only the row id so in the outer query what i'm going to do employee underscore t where row id in the entire list so we got the actual records to be deleted so instead of select i can make it as delete three rows deleted let's select from the employee t table employee underscore t now if you see all the duplicate records are deleted let me just roll back it here yeah so this is the third method so the key learning here is that the inner query that is the uh, innermost query will help us to identify the rows to be deleted using our row underscore number uh, analytical functions so anything that is not equal to one are the potential row ids to be deleted which we are deleting from the outermost query so this is the third method in fact these three uh, methods we are using the sql statement to delete in a single statement uh, sometimes the question will come without using the row id is it possible to delete of course you will be able to delete but not by using one single uh, sql statement but maybe using a, a few sequence stuff statement so that's what i'm going to show in the next method so here the here i'm not going to use the row id itself instead we are going to follow a different method altogether so what i'm going to do first i'm going to create another table by selecting the distinct information from the source table so what will happen is that all the duplicates will be deleted or removed because we are using the distinct keyword here then we are inserting into a temporary table called employee underscore temp table now what i'm going to do i'm just going to drop the actual table the employee t table will be dropped then i'm renaming the employee table into emp underscore t okay now you can just select from the emp t table which will have only the unique record but uh, this is not like um, a simple way by which we have actually seen in the previous examples uh, this is only for your understanding only if the interviewer ask you can say this method otherwise you don't have to say explicitly this method let me show you one more way also uh, 
uh, without uh, uh, dropping and recreating a table because in this method we are actually dropping the table we are creating a temporary table then we are uh, renaming the table so if if we have to do the same thing without dropping then what should we do so let me show you the in the next method so what i'm going to do i'm just going to add one more column to the existing table called row underscore name rather than using a row id pseudo column we are physically introducing a new column now since we are adding a new column the default value should be null here now what i'm going to do i'm just going to update the table where row num equal to the row num uh, pseudo column so this a uh, row underscore num will be populated with a sequence of number now we have a column to uniquely identify the information now you can use any of the method what i have showed in the um, previous slides like method 1 or method 2 or method 3 any of the thing you can use you can write a query to delete so in this case i am using the minimum of row num in the first case i have showed you minimum of row id because the intention of the column itself is to uniquely identify a record so using that now we are deleting after deleting if you select the things the actual duplicate records should have got deleted anyway this column is no more needed now finally if you don't want you can go and drop this column so that the actual structure of the table will be retained so these are the methods by which you can um, delete the informations this is one of the most interview uh, this, sorry this is one of the most asked interview question so i suggest you to practice very clearly before going for interview so here are the three methods i would suggest you to practice uh, before going to the interview and you should know the uh, key difference between all these things in method 1 we are using the simple subquery in method 2 we are using the correlated subquery in method 3 also simple subquery but instead of um, max function we are using the uh, row underscore number analytical function okay so all the queries whatever i have showed you here are posted in this blog link you can just copy and try by yourself and if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching this video